I just got my box of Norwex that I simply bought because my sister believes in it. She started selling it. I said, okay, I'll try it. Um, I have a nasty, dirty glass top stove, and I wanted to see what... Um, I saw good things with the um, Spyro uh, cloth. I don't think that's the right name for it, but I'll look it up. The Norwex cleaning paste. And then this is the classic item, the Norwex um, Enviro cloth. And I'm going to use those to clean the oven. I'm going to take a quick break, shut this off so that I can um, do the video um, actually looking at the stove. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this might be kind of hard to see, but my stove has been the bane of my existence because I cook, my husband cooks, and my husband is really messy and it drives me nuts so you can see like there's a lot of like baked on stuff that I clean this baby and I usually use um, Clorox Clorox disinfecting wipes I also use a oven cleaner and uh, it just doesn't do the job so I'm gonna show you what I have learned this is again my first time using this. Haven't even opened it yet. So here we go. Um, I just did open it. It's like a chalky paste. So I got my Spyro uh, sponge. And you just kind of scrape some of it off like that. I hear this goes a long way. So I'm just going to scrub it on my nasty nasty stove. I wish you could see just how nasty this really is. Look at this It's an embarrassment. Okay, I, um, I think I'll just do this one part and then finish it up later so that you don't have to watch the whole time. I think it is pretty cool that I can use this, um, sponge, which is like you know, the consistency of like a, well, a metal-y sponge on glass and there's no scratching or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, now let me get my EnviroCloth. I did, I need to, don't just ignore my dirty dishes. You gotta wet that down just a little bit. And here we go. Yeah, nice and shiny and pretty and clean. Okay. You can see that it's definitely cleaned it off compared to the rest of the oven. Now I am going to turn this off and scrub it and show you the after of the whole thing. So I'm back. I cleaned up the whole stove top. I wanted to show you from this direction because you can see how shiny and pretty it is. And um you can also see, I, I also cleaned off my microwave because it always gets, you know, fingerprints on the handle and all over there. So what I did was I scraped down my stove top with the um, Spiro sponge um, and I also used this, um, the cleaning paste and then I wiped it up with the Enviro cloth, and then I actually kind of buffed it out a little bit with the um, the window rag. I don't exactly know what this is called. I forgot. Um, and then I also used it on my um, stainless steel fridge, and you can see that you can't see the spots on that either anymore. There are these spots up here that you're probably seeing, and those are just something that was on there when we bought the house they won't come off 
they're not like really grease marks. Um, I will say I was hoping that there's some really stuck on spots here on this um, oven that have been here. We bought the house about two years ago and they were there even before that. And it, you know, it didn't get that off. I don't know. I think that it will be really hard to get that off. Some of it's like really caked on stuff. So um, it didn't do that, but I can say that it looks so nice and clean and much different than it would look with the disinfecting wipes. And I mean, I will say without being able to look at you and tell you, I guess I can tell you this way. I, I really like this product because I am five months pregnant now and I can use it no problem, no strong smells, it's fine on my hands, I don't need gloves um, because it is, it's safe. It's made with, um, it's got a little bit of, oh it has marble flour, natural soap, and traces of coconut oil skin friendly, environmentally friendly, um, so it just makes me feel good that I can can clean that way. And this right here are, these are my basic, the basic tools of, of what I am starting with. And we're going to go from there.